So how did you feel you performed today against your, your former team? Yeah, but I, you know, made a couple turnovers, but other than that, you know, had the uh, offense moving, you know, people scoring. Yeah. Were you happy with the, the tempo of the second unit today? Yeah, I mean, we're just getting out and running, you know, and uh, CJ's getting open shots, Rodney's getting to the paint. So, I mean, I like the way the second unit is playing. Was there any advantage on your side, kind of knowing their tendencies as a team? Yeah, a little bit, you know, just uh, what they want to do on offense and end. You know, basically just get in the paint, pick and roll, and kick out for three. It was, it was a pretty intense battle, you know. Uh, played Dwight many years, and uh, it's, it's never easy. He always goes hard, you know. He's, he's one of the strongest big in this league, and, uh, you know, it's uh, it was a good fight. You know, I'm happy we came uh we came up on top. What about the, the physical toll of, of playing Brooke Lopez one night and then immediately turning around and playing Dwight Howard the next? I mean, this is this is the NBA, you know. It's every single night, you know. You, you're going to play against guys, you know, all-stars and, and guys that could, you know, really play. So um, uh, condition yourself for that. And, you know, you just go with the, you just go with the flow. So, so Solo always brings a lot of energy, and uh, he's a high, uh, high IQ guy. You know, he, he, most of the time he makes the right play, and uh, you know, as far as you know, when to shoot, when to pass. Uh, defensively, he's uh, he's very aggressive, very good with his hand. You know, got some deflections, got some rebounds. So um, um, Solo is one of those you know guy that you, you like to have on your team. You know, he always gonna get that steal or that rebound that you need at a crucial time. So um, you know, it was uh, it was a great contribution from Solo. To start the game, um, you know, it's 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 just gotta find my rhythm somehow and. Um, you know, first quarter I, I was able to get going, been aggressive, and uh, you know got the shots I wanted to get. Ty said he's looking at the standings. He's been watching Chicago. You guys have a chance to put yourself at a little bit of distance between the Bulls on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, um, this is a big game, probably the biggest game of the season for us right now. Um, with a chance to put a team away and um, you know give ourselves uh, you know one more game up in the win column that can you know ultimately maybe push us forward. Mid fourth quarter, you come in, you get uh, essentially a steal on Harden, and then a couple assists. Can you take us through that stretch in your eyes? Yeah, it's just talking about bringing energy. Um, you know, James had got it going. He brought him back, um, and it was just about making the right plays. The way they play defense, they all carry over. They're all on the strong side. So I knew if I get the chance to get in the middle, you know, Jan be open. Jan made the right plays, and everybody kind of contributed to our, to our win tonight. They clearly made some adjustments at the half, had a strong third quarter and beginning of the fourth, and then things really changed around that point. What adjustments did you make to counter those? Uh, we went small. You know, uh, we had a situation where they were small. We played a little big, and they went on a run, and then we just decided to go small and to counteract what they were doing, switch a couple of their actions, and end up working for us. 15 offensive rebounds as a team. How do you do something like that against a team that has Dwight Howard? Uh, you, coach has been motivating us. You know, we haven't had a lot of offensive rebounds. I think last game we had six. So, you know, with Jan getting as many as he can, Lavoy, everybody really contributing just the extra possessions, and I think that was the difference in the game.